Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I just want to do a quick tutorial on livery editing in Photoshop explain for X-Plane 11. Uh, today we're going to be working on the 737 BBJ, so let's get right into it. So the first thing that I wanted to do here is get rid of this uh, tail number and change it to a different tail number. So I'm going to go ahead and open the rectangular marquee tool here. Let's zoom in a bit. And then we're going to select here, select the tail number area, and once you have your little marching ants around the edge, you're going to want to press shift, hold shift and backspace to do a fill, a content aware fill, you're going to press OK, and that'll get rid of the tail number for you. Same thing down here, but we're not going to do that just yet. So um, we're going to keep this little marquee here so that we know roughly how much text to put in. And then we're going to come down to the text tool here. Going to put it right there. Move it down just a bit. And then we're going to want to, oops, uh, going to go to the eyedropper tool. We're going to want to go to the eyedropper tool. We're just going to take a bit of this color here. So let's go down to the other tail number. We're going to get a bit of the color there. And then we're going to go here and copy that uh, RGB number. And then, oops, and we're going to go back up to text. And come over here. And we're going to go to color and paste that in here. So now we're going to be able to type in the same color scheme of the last tail number. And from now on, from here on, we're just going to find a decent font that somewhat matches that because I do not know what font that is. So, here, let me, let me go back out of here. Let me just type, oh, okay. That works. Let me just type some stuff in there. And then we're going to change the font to something that will look a little bit better. We're going to want something a little bold. So I think I'm going to go with the impact font because that's what I've been using. And we're going to go uh, bold like so, and then we're going to go November, I don't need to make this bigger here, here we'll go November, I think this one's going to be 2 Bravo Zulu, and we'll just go back to the move tool here, select the text, and enlarge it just a little bit, that looks about good, and press enter, Actually, that seems a little bit too fat, so let's go ahead and edit that again. We're going to do no bold in just November 2, Bravo Zulu. That looks about decent. And then we're just going to go back and enlarge this just a tad. Just a little bit. And once that looks good... Then we're going to go ahead and copy this text. Move this out of the way here. Oops. Okay. And we're going to copy and then paste it right here. And this is this is the part that's a little confusing. So we're going to go Control T. We're going to warp. No, we're going to, I think it's a scale. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to do scale so that it is written. That's upside down, isn't it? Yes, that is upside down. Okay. Forgot which, if it's not root scale, then it's probably skew. I forgot. Oh, never mind. Control Z. Um, oh, flip horizontal. There you go. Okay. I'm just stupid. 
But yeah, we're going to move that out of the way for now and do the same thing that we did with the last tail number. So we're going to go up to the marquee. We're going to select this area. Once we got those marching ants, we're going to go shift delete. Shift delete. First rasterizing the Oh, okay. Because I don't have this layer selected. Okay, now shift delete. And then okay. And it'll get rid of that. And then we go control D to get rid of the ants. And we'll just move to Bravo Zulu right over there. And now we're going to copy this again. Just to make it tail number look a little bit nicer, we're going to go copy and paste. And here's another cool part. We're going to use the eyedropper tool again. Get a little bit of the gold color here. And now come over here, copy that. And then text, we're going to go paste. Okay. Now back to the move tool. And this is going to go underneath the other two Bravo Zulu. So we're going to put this at the bottom here. And that should be good. Now let me get my keyboard out. I have to turn on my arrow keys here. And then we're just going to use the uh, arrow keys to kind of move this around to blend it. And make it look a little nicer. So I think that's pretty good. Okay. And now we're just going to copy and paste again. Do the same thing over here. Except we're going to control T, flip horizontal, and then size it up, and then just do the same thing we did with the last one. So we're going to arrow key around until it looks half decent. Oh, this one on this side looks a little bit larger, so I'm going to small make it a little smaller. Do it for this one as well just a little smaller there you go because this one's a little bigger or smaller than this tail number and after that then we are going to move on to the other um, section of the livery so now we got the tail number all nice and neat it still isn't very matched but it's fine it isn't that big of a deal so we're gonna go control L gonna open up the tail and we don't really want to have this eagle here because that is not what we want so we're gonna go control plus to zoom in and then we're going to get our polygonal marquee or sorry our polygonal lasso and we're just going to do a selection around this eagle here here I gotta zoom in a bit more so, so do, do a selection around the eagle to make it roughly around the edges of this thing so that we don't distort too much of the photo. So I'm just taking this lasso around the edge. around the edge and then double click and now that we got our marching ants around that we're gonna go shift delete okay cool now we're gonna go control D and do the same thing for the next eagle right over here okay uh, really quickly I just wanted to say that that um, second eagle that I was going to delete uh, didn't actually work like it, the it, the, um, the fill didn't actually work so what I ended up doing was just taking a marquee from the previous tail and just uh, pasting it onto the new tail so that, you, that is what you'll uh, see in this next clip here you can just take a marquee I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place kinda stupid but uh, I think I'm going to end up adding a BBJ logo anyways just to make it look nicer. So we're going to go marquee. Uh, we're going to go like 
here control C control V oops I'm not gonna move this over Yeah, that sort of works and then control V again come down here and blend it it's close enough it looks decent so once we uh, once we are satisfied I'm going to go get a BBG logo really quick no I'm not going to go get a BBG logo because all the BBG logos I could look for uh, they were they all had backgrounds so they would not have blended uh, nicely at all with the um, livery so that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, hope this helped. For all of you that do want to change out your liveries a bit. Um, and for those of you that aren't really familiar with Photoshop. Because I'm really not. So anyway. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for later stuff.